And good afternoon, Jax and Jills. Welcome to good afternoon and good evening. Uh, welcome to another exciting matchup of Echo Arena, presented by VRML. And uh, yes, uh, last minute swap here. I'm stepping in for Palador. He was having internet problems. Teams are already readying up uh, as we did give them the go ahead. They were they were waiting for us to get ready here to take us to that screen there as well. Uh, yes, I am Monsieur Demouy here with Swift and Swift. What can you tell us about this matchup here uh, between Odyssey and uh, Voyagers? Well, in short, not much to be honest. Um... These, uh, these teams are brand new to me, and uh, I'm sure to most, um, and it may be their first or second VRML match, um, as they were not here last season. So, um, bright, a fresh start for most of the players, except um, subbing in for Odyssey is Okinot, who has previously, uh, previously played uh, in Europe for, uh, for VRML. So, going to be uh, interesting to, uh, to, to see this match as uh, this joust goes through. That's going to be Trey uh, getting the grab on it there, and he tries to send that one away, but it's going to bounce off the uh, the bottom of the stacks there. Now it's all the way back, though. Urban Trout, I love that name, uh, is going to be there to get the grab, but Aki not with the move. Going to go for that long shot. Going to bounce just wide underneath the goal there and bounce out. Yeah, Aki not taking that shot there. Uh, just missing, and uh, they, they, they will still be able to get the disc. Uh, Odyssey still in possession here, looking for a pass, although that one just missing Aki's hands, and... Uh, Maybe a turnover here uh, for Urban Trout and the Voyagers. Uh, does that get that clear through? However, it's quite slow over at the mid lane. So, uh, yes, uh, Odyssey does get this back. But a good stun from Trey actually will win them back the possession. So, uh, a nice stun there. And uh, that will win them that clear to the other side. Now, uh, Ground Dog, getting the grab on that one. Going to send that one through that tube there by uh, a few players there for uh, Voyagers. Now, a bit of a chase for it is it took that bounce off the, uh, the top side triangle there, all the way into the opposite side trap, now handled by Ground Dog. Ground Dog looked for that back pass, uh, does uh, get it right in the area, but it takes a really uh, harsh bounce off the, the tube there, as now it's going to be Aki Nut walking this one through, doing a couple ducks, inverted ducks, uh, to get, oh, Duke it on the ceiling now, getting away from those players. Uh, and yeah, gonna make some space here. Maybe an opportunity here on offense. Walking this one in, takes a shot, Ooh. but no! What a save there by the goalie. I didn't catch who that is in goal there, but wow, what a stop. So it's Urban Trout, and uh, he makes that save, and Okinot always upside down as he is. Takes that three-pointer, but Urban Trout, of course, coming in with that save, getting that clear through. In fact, the pass to Ice Eagle, uh, that clear not quite gonna make it uh, anywhere, though. So uh, a good stun by It's Me will win them back the disc, and. Uh, this clear will finally go through to the Odyssey half. So now that is Ground Dog getting a pick up on that one, sending it right back to the Voyager's half as uh, it does sneak by the other uh, backliner there. As, uh, the chain is out here for Odyssey. They have an opportunity here. That's Akinot with that one. Trying to send, uh, try to pull some moves, some good jukes there. And he is finally able to walk that one in for the first two of the game. That's going to be 208 in uh, uh, four meters. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, Swift. How did that look? <laughs> yeah, so Akinot. Okay, uh, not quite getting pressured enough uh, by Voyagers had the chance to walk it up to the post, which of course was a much easier shot, and he did take the opportunity, uh, able to get past the goalie, so that's the first two for Odyssey, and uh, they make the lead as this QB actually goes all the way through to the trench, and it's me uh, looking up, uh, getting pressured by the defender. Past a Trey, and in fact the three-pointer coming out from Trey, slotting it into the top there, great shot placement. And uh, Voyager's pulling ahead now. Yeah, what a beautiful uh, uh, sequence there for Voyager's. Now up by one here with uh, Odyssey now on the house advantage. And yeah, Trey walking that one in. Uh, that's a seven meter three, actually. Uh, fun fun note. Uh, the, the the rare uh, seven meter three there. Yeah, and uh, Okino taking the QB. Uh, however, uh, no passes to be seen here. Just getting cleared away into the Voyager's half. And... Uh, Trying to get recollected here. It's me, Will. Uh, just collect it back for Voyagers. And uh, the turnover comes through. That clear, not quite going through though. So uh, just going to bounce back and some pressure. And that clear, again, not going through. Uh, and it will eventually make its way to Ground Dog. Ground Dog now under a lot of pressure by It's Me. It's Me getting the stun off. And now Trey coming to pick that one up on the pick the loose disc up. Send it all the way down into the Odyssey zone. Now chains are away. And now Aki not getting there first. So uh, Odyssey doing a really good job uh, from most of this game of getting to their zone uh, on those uh, Voyagers clear. So maybe Voyagers uh, might consider uh, uh, changing things up as uh, those clears really aren't working out for them. Uh, maybe they could set up uh, for that, uh, that, uh, that, that 
that uh, control scheme, you know, the formation passing to get through mid instead. Yeah, and especially because we've seen so far uh, Odyssey having uh, some great stacks so far. Okino taking that shot and uh, getting stunned away by Trey, forcing him to take it a little bit too quickly, and he misses that. Going back to Ice Eagle now, uh, who looks for the clear, and he does uh, make it through, but that's an unfortunate bounce, bringing it straight back yet again to their half. So. Maybe we want to try some shorter passes here because these clears really are not working out. And this one actually going to go back into the possession of Voyagers because of a great steal from It's Me. And uh, that clear finally making its way through to the other side. They just need to get there first. And no, it's going to be Okin up first to the disc yet again uh, as he goes for the clear. Yeah, one of the uh, half the speed of your boost in Echo Arena is getting together with your teammates. Uh, ooh, good shot there from uh, Admin Oddman. Uh, what a name. Uh, admin Oddman, uh, there for uh, Odyssey, as that one's going to get set up. Good read there by It's Me, and he's going to send that one out. But yeah, uh, half the speed of your boost is getting together with your teammates, because uh, it doesn't matter really how fast your, your actual boost is, uh, if it takes you three, four, five seconds just to get together to start it. Uh, so that's definitely something uh, to look into uh, as, you know, uh, as newer teams in the league, generally speaking, not not these teams in particular, but uh, all teams. Is, ooh, a ooh, long shot there! Through. Wow. Great shot by Okino. And, uh, I mean, continuing what you said, it, uh, it, most of that comes from the communication uh, side of things. You know, communicating to your teammates that you're there, uh, ready to boost, as well as uh, a little bit of a muscle memory of, of looking behind you and looking for teammates. Um, and, and the same can be said the entire other way around. We've seen some great stun plays already from Voyagers on the defensive end, but it can be used on offense as well. Uh, to stun the other team's stacks, actually, to prevent them um, from getting the discs. So it works kind of both ways. Um, and it's it's all kind of just based around that uh, key component of communication um, in this virtual reality sport. And Trey uh, able to just recollect this disc and uh, look for a, uh, a, a clear and a pass here. Yeah, and it can't be understated how important communication is uh, in this game. A, a lot to do, just generally, ooh, a good shot. There, he hits it in. Akina from 21 meters out, putting that one in for the three. And that's going to give Odyssey the five-point lead here. Harsh there for, for Urban Trial. Really uh, should have got that one. Uh, it was in the goal, but it looked like he, he kind of just got there. So, um, you know, hopefully... Uh, they can rebuild the momentum. I mean, they, they do have three points. It's not like uh, they're stuck here with zero points, and they definitely still have time to come back. So just need to, uh, to chill out here, or take as much time as they can with their passes, and uh, hope that they can uh, regain the lead here. And just to finish a thought I had started earlier before that goal, uh, it, it, you know, in normal sports, communication is is, is, uh, is a big deal. Uh, but in Echo Arena in particular, because uh, with the VR headset, you're basically playing with blinders on, like horse blinders uh, on both sides of your face there. You don't have that uh, that proper full, uh, full eye peripheral vision there. Uh, as now an opportunity here, Ice Eagle, uh, well, not looking at empty net, thought maybe, but he is going to get this one walking in, uh, going for that cross pass, that one's going to go a little bit high, and now a bit of a tussle for it to chase this one down. Tough one there, it's Eagle trying to turn around to buy himself as much time as possible, um, stop Okinok from grabbing his legs, not quite going to work though, and that pass is going to miss, and eventually it's going to make its way to Okinok's half, he was actually just going to walk this all the way through, take Ooh. that three-point shot, but a great save by Trey, who's going to get that clear through, and, uh, now we need to see stacks form from Voyagers, and uh, they do have It's Me, uh, and actually Ice Eagle getting the possession, taking the three-point shot, but an equally good save on the other end uh, will bring Odyssey back the possession, and uh, now uh, looking to recollect it actually is going to be Trey on the other end, uh, who gets a pass over to Urban Trout, looking uh, down, but there is still a goalie in for Odyssey, and uh, now Okino uh, looking for a pass down mid. Akinet uh, going to offer the clear. It's going to take that bounce off the, the bottom of the, uh, the the blue stacks there. And now uh, that is Odyssey trying to chase this one down. They are uh, three on two here. If they can move quickly into the bubble, that pass unfortunately just going to go out of the reach there of Akinet. And now Ground Dog trying to get this one, uh, get this, trying to chase it down. Urban gets a hand on it, but that's Akinet coming back for it. Going to send it off the back wall. The goalie not going to let that one happen. Trey stopping that one. Dead in his tracks. I'm going to send it all the way down now into the uh, Odyssey zone. 
Yeah, well, Goalie should have gone for that, but it's going to be It's Me uh, trying to take the disc. In fact, no, now going to, to Ice Eagle. That's a great stuns uh, over for Odyssey to win them back the possession. Uh, I'd like to see some more uh, on both ends of the field. Um, the Goalie uh, kind of coming out more. Uh, I mean, we can see that it's it's happening uh, a little bit um, here for Voyagers, uh, then bringing the goalie a little bit out of the net. But, um, and a great save there uh, by Mickey Man. Um, we'll actually, uh, actually goes uh, back to the possession of Voyagers. And yeah, again, and the shot will be taken, but uh, in fact, may have been a pass to it. It's me, and uh, the, the grab missed there. So uh, now, going to be... Uh, impossible for Voyagers to come back at this point, but um, finishing what I said earlier, uh, I'd like to see some more of a goalie coming out, uh, specifically on the Odyssey end. I mean, it worked for them this time, but um, it really helps you out on offense to uh, take that goalie out. And actually, uh, that shot from Okinot going pretty close uh, for Odyssey, but still winning it out 8 3 for the first round. Yeah, solid first round play there from uh, this team, Odyssey. As, as you noted, they did take uh, round one, and uh, just inputting the stores right quick so we can get to that uh, screen. Oh, and I just realized I haven't been running uh, the stat bot, so there's not uh, either no stats or old stats. Uh, looks like uh, old stats. Uh, that's certainly from yesterday. I'll get that running. And so for after after round two, uh, stats will actually be uh, be proper on the board there. So that's uh, that's my fault. Uh, that was just that uh, that rushing to get in there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, as you noted, uh, maybe some more because uh, uh, you know they're, they're playing uh, Odyssey playing that goalie back really far, uh, so the goalie uh, should probably you know periodically you know if if, if uh, I, you know I wouldn't suggest perma goalie as a strat generally, uh, but if you are gonna play a perma goalie, uh, perma goalie should I mean uh, don't consider the goal your only spot to sit. Uh, you know you really move around that bubble, try to get those discs uh, that are getting cleared in there. Yeah, and I'm actually seeing the, the Voyager's goalie do that uh, quite a bit. Uh, staying not specifically in the goal, but at least around the goal, pushing out as far as, as Mini, which is a block. Um, you know what? I shouldn't say specific call-outs like that, because there's 101 different names for, for every block. So, um, <laughs> But yeah, just, just pushing out a little bit uh, of, of the bubble it makes it much easier, especially if the other team clears, like we have seen uh, quite a lot this game. Um, there's been a lot of clears. It really helps you to just immediately gain back possession after their clear by just catching it. And that is uh, kind of the, the reason that, that Permagoli sort of works uh, in these games. And uh, actually going to be Voyagers this uh -oh. time, starting it off with the possession. Ice oh. Eagle though missing the reverse dunk. And uh, now going to be Okinot trying to collect the disc, but a good stun there. And actually Voyagers uh, may keep possession, but a trade there from Ground Dog and Trey will... Uh, actually go through and now Ice Eagle uh, it's a one-on-one -on -one so far but no there's a great stack there from Odyssey denying the offensive opportunity yeah solid stack there from Odyssey to, to force that turnover now it's back in the Voyager's zone here handled there by Akin look for that long three but it's going to bounce off the, the bottom of that Geo there and I'll uh, make its way up to the ceiling ground dog is there with the stack in for uh, with a uh, Adman, odd man, and now pass over to Aki. Not, although he drops it, misplays it on the nest there, and that one's going to get cleared out by It's Me once more, one more time, right there in the hands of Ice Eagle, who's playing very aggressive in the field here. Uh, but he is out there for those uh, those uh, those uh, attempted clears uh, when they don't make it out. Now Groundhog sending this one in, but uh, as you noted, Trey coming right out of the goal to play that one, get it away from the bubble, uh, and now trying to let his team get there. But maybe an opportunity here again for Odyssey. Yeah, some great covering so far from uh, Voyagers, and, uh, and Okinot will actually eventually get that through, going under the uh, <laughs> the shield, but actually a couple steals later. Uh, great defense from its ice equal, just not getting it away quick enough. Okinot able to steal that one back and take it in for the two, but uh, Voyagers with uh, mostly defense uh, in, the, in the end of that time. So uh, great defense so far from Voyagers, but uh, yeah, I'd like to see some more. Uh, on the offense, yep, get a little, getting a little uh, too free with that free cam there. My apologies, as uh, this one's going to bounce all the way. And another unfortunate bounce. Yeah, that's something we're seeing uh, happen, happen to. Happen, I don't want to say happening to Voyagers because uh, you are kind of in control of your destiny. But Aki, now look at that long shot. Is going to bounce wide, and uh, he can't get the grab on that rebound. But we've seen a lot of these uh, attempted clears, attempted passes. 
uh, just take those bad bounces directly back in. And uh, some, you know, sometimes you just get unlucky. Uh, but but other times, you know, it's it's where you're putting it. Uh, you need to, you know, be more conscientious of where you're placing those clears. Yeah, actually, I think a head thought uh, from Urban Trout there um, actually will will win Odyssey back the disc and uh, Ground Dog here. Uh, oh, it's a three on one so far. Voyagers not able to get the stacks through, and that is uh, where the stacks really uh, need to happen because, uh, I mean, a three on one just really uh, is not going to happen. Uh, having two people on the goalie and then one guy taking the shot, it's so difficult for the goalie in that situation. And so uh, it'll be Odyssey getting the four point lead now. Yeah, that was a great goal there. Good uh, good coordination. Akinat got the other uh, stun out. Uh... Uh, to allow that that shot to go in, and now Akinat with a steal, gonna try to walk this one in, doing his uh, his uh, ceiling jukes once more, uh, running through inverted, and uh, instead Trey's gonna go for that pass option that's gonna let Akinat walk this one in, but that shot gonna ding off the bottom side of the post and bounce out now, but uh, Groundhog, uh, excuse me, getting the grab on it, maybe another opportunity takes that shot, but Urban Trout nice. with the stop and gonna send that one away, and in fact that is why Akinat tried painting the the post so much there and that is the risk of painting the post of course is that you'll get the infamous sting but uh, i mean he really needs to you saw the great defense there from urban trout on voyagers uh stopped plenty of shots this game and okino uh looking for a stand and duck not quite working and uh, it's me um in fact ice eagle here looking for the disc and it will be voyagers possession this clear coming through and here is where we need to see the goalie push out goalie should have really gone for the disc there it really enables uh odyssey to to be a little bit more aggressive and, and stay more in the tunnels in mid area rather than going all the way back into their half and having a uh, few passes if they, if they get pressured uh, that being said oki not being able to get into the other half uh, but not much being done so gonna go back to voyager's hands and that's uh it's me sending that one out into the odyssey zone here so it's gonna be a race of the stacks uh if we see any stacks get together there uh, that's uh, very important to, to communicate those stacks, to, uh, to not float solo. That's the last thing you want to be doing in Echo Arena. It keeps you behind the play constantly. You need to, uh, if you're chasing the disc down, if you're chasing clear, you need to communicate your stack and get together immediately uh, if, you're looking to, if you're looking to chase it and uh, uh, get there first. As It's Me does get a good steal there, but he's surrounded by three uh, Odyssey players who are going to come over with that one and send it away. Yeah, just great defense here so far from Odyssey. Really good uh, man coverage and, and, and great um, great pushing the disc uh, as I can't find the word I'm looking for. Pressure is the word I'm looking for. Good pressure <laughs> by Odyssey. Uh, and uh, that coming from their, their stacks. They've been, they've been uh, pushing their stacks uh, a lot this game. And I mean, ultimately that is what so far is winning them this round. Uh, they're, they're able to get the disc a lot quicker than Voyagers just because their stacks are a little bit more uh, well coordinated. And that being said, this one going into Voyager's hands, actually getting cleared away, straight back to Ground Dog, and uh, back to Okino here. He's gonna take the three point shot and actually will make it. Uh, Urban being on the top of the goal there, not quite able to make that uh, save, and uh, seven point lead now. Still able to come back, uh, Voyager's, but uh, they're gonna have to do something uh, fast, make some changes uh, to counter the stacks from Odyssey. Yeah, boys are certainly not out of it yet. Uh, it's only uh, that's a three goal spread uh, potentially. Uh, it's still four minutes to go, so uh, definitely uh, capable of. Uh, it's definitely possible to score uh, uh, one goal per minute uh, to at least tie it up potentially. Uh, even four goals if they want to uh, maybe take the lead. But this dumping uh, gonna take that bounce there. No one there to collect it, so Akinut gets there first. Now Akinut doing his inverted thing on the ceiling there, making some space. Getting around three players there uh, from Voyagers and uh, ultimately uh, going to send that one out. Although it takes that bounce into the uh, trench. Yeah, and uh, actually it's me going for the disc there. Uh, not quite able to get there fast enough. And uh, Ground Dog will uh, take this possession again from Odyssey. And uh, great, uh, great coverage so far um, on the defense of Voyagers. But uh, backing it out here is going to be odyssey and actually the three-pointer will go in yet again past the goalie and uh, that is a 10-point lead as uh, i mean okino making the majority of the offensive plays uh, this game but uh, i mean i'd like to see some more from from the others uh, 
and, and certainly a little bit more passing around the bubble uh, for Odyssey uh, could, could take them even further into the lead. Yeah, it definitely could. And uh, But now it's going to be Trey there for Voyager, sending that one through that right tube, looking for uh, looking for his teammate there. Oh, that was It's Me, and It's Me is just going to forward this one into the bubble where Groundhog's going to collect that one, send it up, and uh, yeah, right there into the hands of Aki not Aki not going to forward this one through, trying to clear it out. I'm going to take that bad bouncer at mid, and so maybe, uh, yeah, it's going to be Trey getting there first. Trey turning this one back around, a little bit of back and forth here. Uh, a little over two minutes ago, a uh, ten-point difference in favor of Odyssey as now Akinat gets a steal there. Another steal. Now looking at that long, uh, maybe going for that, uh, what's well, a clear in? I, I call it a Hail Mary clear, but Urban Trout not going to let anything happen there and turning it around once again for Voyagers. Yep, and uh, a couple of passes coming through here. Uh, I mean, I think one of the main mistakes Voyagers making at the moment, trying to uh, force a disc through um, and actually... Good pass here from it's me, but uh, the receive isn't there, and uh, Ground Dog just going to clear it yet again. But uh, we're seeing Voyagers push uh, into the into the bubble uh, or, or towards the bubble, uh, even when they don't have any passes or people are stunned away. They, they have to remember that. Um, well, they did. Maybe not now. Uh, they had time to, uh, to to pass it back around a little bit and and break up the stacks from Odyssey. Um, Further back into in the in the Odyssey bubble, um, just so that they could they could disrupt the defense a little bit and get some passes through there. Uh, but uh, they're just pushing a little bit too much uh, into the enemies as Okino goes for another three-point shot, just missing the post there and um, actually going to be it's me collecting the disc here. 50 seconds, um, going to be impossible here for for Voyagers to come back, but try and get some redeeming goals here as Okino tries to push uh, towards but gets denied by it's me and this clear not working out either uh, unfortunately for voyagers and Okinot just taking this one back again Okinot looking for that ambitious shot off the back where they're on the goalie does recover uh the missed shot and now doing some jukes here 28 seconds ago we'll definitely uh, have a look at a get at least one more in here Okinot is probably there it is. He draws a couple of the, uh, the defenders out, running the clock, and there it is. He's going to send it in. Good for the other uh, two. And that's going to make it a 12-0 game and likely uh, the, the final score there. Yeah, exactly, exactly as much time. So, yeah, that's going to be it uh, for Odyssey versus Voyagers. Odyssey going to take this one in, too, uh, after that 12-0 uh, victory here in round two. Yeah, that will be GG's. But, uh, I mean, it's not like there was nothing to redeem Voyagers. I mean, the, the ideas were... Uh, there, they just need to get their stacks cleaned up a little bit, and uh, and for sure they'll be able to, uh, to compete uh, against Odyssey next time. But uh, I mean, that being said, uh, a, a really uh, a good substitute, uh, Okinot, having a lot of personal experience, um, of course, getting a lot of goals uh, for for Odyssey. But uh, I mean, Odyssey already had great stacks, and we saw that they had great communication anyway. Uh, even if that wasn't the case, um, and, and you know, mechanics are only one uh, one function of the game. So, uh, I mean, great job by Odyssey, and uh, they'll take the two-round victory. That they will, and uh, yeah, well done there. And uh, as I promised, we do have proper stats after uh, round two there. Did get that functional and working. So yeah, game high points here to Akin out with 18, also pulling off two saves. And, uh, Mickey Man, I, I think I was calling him Milkman. I might have called him Milkman, buddy, Mickey. If I if I did that during the game, I apologize. Uh, I see it's Mickey Man 95. Uh, he's got two saves on the board. Ground Dog with uh, two points, two saves, three steals though. Notable Aki Nut also with four steals. Trey, uh, the long three points there for Voyagers. A good three points it was. Uh, also picking up an assist there. Is it's me, Ollie. Uh, and then look at the saves. So you got Urban Trout with five saves and two saves apiece to everybody else. And then it's me with five. Steals, that's game high right there. Beautiful uh, defensive play from Voyager. Sep definitely something they can build off of. Um, build off, yeah, build off of moving forward. You know, you can really build a team around a solid defense uh, that I think uh, Voyagers probably have uh, going for them at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and defense is definitely the more difficult uh, part. Uh, the, the offense, it's kind of, um, you make your strategies and you adapt them slightly to uh to the enemies however most of the time in defense you kind of just go off of what you see in front of you uh, most of the time along with uh, previous experience i mean it's much harder to adapt 
um, to each team like that, and it's um, difficult to make strategies on the defensive end. So, um, also a thing to mention, interesting that Voyagers had a 27 uh, to zero vote on the, the Connoisseur, um, on the Connoisseur votes. Nobody actually expected um, Odyssey to pull ahead with that one. But, uh, but of course, they did. Obviously, the Connoisseur vote system not being the be all end all of, of, of what the the match's outcome would be so I mean a good job uh, by Odyssey there by by going uh, against the kind of sort of uh, vote system as we always love to see of course we do always love to see that that means things were uh, unpredictable uh, but yeah so uh, before we get out of here uh, as part of the uh, uh, so I, I've been doing this thing I uh, call it the VRML uh, community stream feature and I've had, uh, there's an announcement, if you go look at uh, League Announcements in the Discord, uh, you can see uh, how you can sign up for that. And uh, about to feature one streamer here, uh, mostly because he is here. So Swift, you're getting the feature on this cast here. I just put the link into his Twitch. Go give Swift a follow uh, when he's casting. Go uh, go check him out, or when he's, uh, when he's when he's streaming, go check him out when he's streaming. Uh, the Swift, uh, definitely one of our... Uh, uh, basically, our, our well, kind of our only uh, official uh, European caster at the moment, so definitely deserving of some love there. Uh, full on, and then also one more thing to push: we got the the Echopedia just went live the other day. Uh, go check that out. Uh, use the search bar because there's a lot. Th that thing is chock full of uh, of information about teams, new teams, old teams, uh, uh, new players, old players. You know, you can see uh, Paladors. Uh, uh, record from Eclipse. You can see Eclipse's record, their, their whole thing with Lemming. Uh, you can look back at uh, old teams like Ouroboros and uh, uh, Phantom. You can look back at the history of the Phantoms. All sorts of good stuff there. Definitely go check that out. And uh, right now, so it is a wiki. You can edit uh, if you if you make an account. However, uh, right now, if you do edit team pages or player pages, they will likely get overwritten uh, by the bot, the scraper bot. Uh, there's a fix coming out for that eventually. It's just not deployed yet. Uh, but definitely go check out the Echopedia. Uh, but before we get out of here, Swift, anything else you would like to add? Uh, anything you want to say about your channel or anything else? I'm just going to plug that I was streaming before this, and I'm going to be streaming after this this time on my channel. So if you follow that link, then I will be streaming soon, TM. Um, and yeah. Also, I released a new video, which I'd really like you guys to go watch. It is uh, 18 plus, though, because of the song. Anyway. Just close it so I can shut my mouth. All right, so definitely go check out Swift after this uh, the stream uh, the cast here. He's going to be streaming in just a few minutes over there at uh, twitch.tv forward slash Swift underscore I W L W I W I W I W. Uh, so definitely go check that out. Click that link. Go give him a follow. Go give him a, a subscribe. A subscribe if you feel so inclined. But that will do it here for us. That was uh, that was Odyssey versus Voyagers. I've been Monsieur Dimwi. That is Swift. And this has been VRML. Thank you for my, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you uh, sometime in the future. As I just realized, I am not ready to hit this button. There we go. Later.